Hey there, Taurus. This is a general reading for April 2022. We're going to be taking a look at messages from your subconscious. We're going to be taking a look at growth and expansion, abundance, and we're also going to check out any new beginnings. So the reason for all this is in April there are a few interesting things happening. Um, basically there is the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction and Neptune is about dreams, intuition, imagination. Um, and so that's why we want to take a look at what's going on with your subconscious. In terms of Jupiter, that planet rules expansion, growth, and abundance. So April is really about making your big dreams. Um, not really necessarily making them a reality, but at least dreaming big, setting that in motion. And then with the new beginnings, um, there are two new moons in April, one at the first of the month and one at the end of the month on the 30th. So there are two opportunities for new beginnings. So what we have here in terms of messages from your subconscious, we have keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. Okay. Let's see what's going on. You have the nine of pentacles, the king of cups and judgment. So, um, seems on the surface, the Nine of Pentacles, everything looks um, great. Sense of, in terms of what you would expect to see is there in the material sense. Um, and what I mean by that, it's like, in terms of your needs being met, in terms of, I don't know why the word facade is kind of coming up, but in terms of what you would see in a happy home. I'm not sure, I haven't seen all this yet. So in terms of your happy home, you kind of have like people smiling, the gestures of um, affection, things like that. And with the King of Cups, you have someone who is really affectionate, in touch with their emotions, compassionate, but you also have this judgment card, which is asking for a moment of truth to honestly reflect on some situation, which is what keeping it in check is also kind of having you do as well. So we're going to clarify these, but Let's see what else we have. In terms of growth, expansion, abundance, you have this butterfly spirit transformation. You have king of swords, two of swords, knight of swords. There is a lot of thinking going on here. Um, it's interesting, you have the king of swords, which is all about um, logic, just making decisions, um, making things right. And you have the Knight of Swords that's all about rushing into action, putting um, kind of like also wanting to make things right. Difference is that the Knight of Swords is, might not have a plan and isn't fully grounded. And then between them you have the Two of Swords which is kind of being at a crossroads. So it could be a transformation in the sense of 
going from like maturing, but we'll see what the cards say in terms of which direction. If you're going from king to knight or knight to king, and with the two of swords in the middle, um, it almost, this person has uh, the swords covering their chest, their heart. So it's kind of making me wonder if it's even questioning if this is the right progression. Uh, almost like for some, it's like what will it take to kind of make that transformation? And for others, it seems that it's a question of um, is, are these two options really the best option for your growth, your expansion, abundance? And in terms of new beginnings, you have the fates. So it's kind of like blessings. And um, there's that prayer that's in the guidebook that goes along with it. God can't grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So let's see if this is about some type of wisdom. You have the Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So it's basically kind of seems like there will be an ending or has been an ending to something, but that there will be a quick rebound. I'm not necessarily saying that in a relationship sense, but in the sense of going from a sense of um, anguish about the situation to a sense of security and really being able to move forward having come out on top. So let's take a look at, I want to take a look at the King of Cups over here in the area of the message from your subconscious on keeping it in check. You have the magician here. So Taurus, it's making me think that this could be you. And what I mean by could be is that those characteristics of being able to fully be in touch with your emotions and be there for others, um, not have to take on emotional baggage from others in, in, the, um, in the process, and then kind of being confident, making things happen. It's like you already have those skills, you already have the knowledge. It's really an issue of communication. Um, so let's take a look at the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Swords. So there's some, like I said, I guess the word facade was appropriate. There is some anguish that's going on. Um, if there are issues with um, nightmares, um, anxieties, headaches, things like that, then it's almost as I'm seeing the magician as like a specialist of some sort, um, maybe medical specialist, mental health specialist. Um, so I, I think it is that you, if you're having issues with emotional stability, definitely speak to a counselor, medical professional, someone that you trust. Um, but it's 
almost as if, like I was saying, it's about communication. You have the skills, you have the talent, you have the resources known to you, but it might be how how you communicate certain thoughts, might be how you um, even communicate an idea to someone else. So let me take a look at this judgment card here. You have the chariot, um, which is about being victorious, but also like setting a goal, um, making your path forward, overcoming obstacles. Um, for some, I'm kind of thinking that you might be going to school even for a degree of some sort that has to do with mental health, that has to do with um, career counseling, um, but for others, it's it's almost as if this has to do with um, you being in a position where you're doing well, but there is that flip side of you can go into a dark place um, or a place where there's fear and anxiety and stress and just overwhelmed by it. Um, and that you have to manage it somehow. And you're on a path where you might not be able to recognize when that flip is, or switch is about to flip. Flip is about to switch. Switch is about to flip. Anyway, so definitely I'm kind of getting a sense of um, the message here, it says, oh, you might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. So the chariot is about moving fast. So I would say take some time to, if you don't have a dream journal, write down about your dreams, um, what you can remember, and see if there's some type of pattern if there is a situation where you tend to um, go into a place where you're just overwhelmed by thoughts or have uh, nightmares, maybe there's a pattern that you can see. But I would say you are on doing well um, from just a broad overview perspective, but definitely how you communicate to yourself, how you communicate to others, and keeping track of those like little nuances. Those seem to be key. Okay, so in terms of transformation here, this area of growth and expansion, it's also about expansion in terms of learning and higher education. So with all these swords here, um, it does kind of indicate that perhaps you are trying to get some type of degree. Um, you're trying to really, there's some mental process that you're really trying to control. Um, and with the Knight of Swords, it's like you have it, you're ready to jump in when things go wrong or wonky, but in terms of whether or not that's good enough or you have an accurate plan of action, that's kind of the question. Let's take a look at the two of swords here. You have the four of swords, which is a need to really slow down, rest, um, maybe meditate, um, I would say definitely even take a nap because it uh, seems like the transformation is kind of saying maybe don't have so much 
swords or mental problems that you're trying to solve all at once. Um, what's interesting about this transformation butterfly spirit is if, you know, you look at a butterfly, they're really beautiful. And when you hear about the cellular process that goes on from in the transformation, um, it sounds really gross. <laughs> And it sounds really hard and really difficult. There's tissue that's broken down. Um, there's really relearning how to function. Um, you go from, you know, squirming to needing to use these wings to fly. Um, it's a, it's almost, um, in terms of senses, you might have to rely on your senses because there's no real thought. Um, this caterpillar might not have noticed that one day it'll turn into something that'll fly and like, oh, I should pay attention to butterflies. Um, I don't know if it knows how to, you know, think, just flap your wings. It really seems like it has to do with intuition and sensing and not just thought. So let's take a look at the King of Swords here. You have a page of pentacles, which is about learning something new, learning something of value, um, creating something of value. Um, and here, the way that I kind of am sensing it is, yeah, that you're, you're trying to grasp something or master some kind of plan, some way of thinking, some um, thought-based goal, and that this is going to create a certain sense of value for you. For some people, it could be a new job, it could be, in, you know, um, a career, degree, something like that. Let's take a look at Knight of Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles, which is about like material um, abundance and wealth. So I think in terms of this transformation, it seems like the thought the mental thought has to do with learning to have a certain sense of value and having the material things that you want, um, which is about growth and abundance. But I think the, the main issue here is that you do need some time to rest. And in that time to rest, maybe you'll start getting more in touch with your intuition. Um, and then you'll have some cups or wands showing up here as opposed to just um, mainly swords and some pentacles. So here with fates in terms of new beginnings, let's look at that king of pentacles and what that's about. you have the Three of Cups. So it could be that there is, like I said, some career goal, some mental um, goal that you're, you're trying to achieve so that you can get like, the security that you want. So um, for some of you, it's um, being your own boss or being you know, finally getting that degree that you wanted so you can start getting the income that you wanted and really then start focusing back on maybe relationships that you've kind of detached from along the way. Um, let me just, yeah, so you have this King of Cups over here in terms of the magician. So it's it's almost as if 
this King of Cups is, there's like a hold on that. Not bottled up like a genie, but that really, that is what you want to be, but you can't be there quite yet. At least you think that's the case. So let's take a look at the three of three of swords. You have the ace of swords, another swords, clarity, victory. So um, it seems like there is going to this thing about the the mental processes having too much worry, too much stress. Um, that's something you want to keep on top of um, because it's really over here. You have the two of swords and the four of swords really saying, hey, take some rest. As if the three of swords already kind of occurred, but um, over here, maybe there's going to be a new approach to things. Maybe it, uh, for some of you, maybe it's almost making me think of this like a medication or a pill. For some of you, it might be going on new medication, uh, but check with a medical professional, not me. Um, for others, it might be a new way of learning um, in terms of if you are trying to get a degree or you're trying to figure out a plan. It might be that it's a new way of approaching things so it's not so stressful for you. Um, and let's take a look at what the six of wands is over here. You have the five of cups. So there's some type of loss that is associated maybe with the three of swords, but I think the biggest you know outcome here is that you will be able to rise above um, and kind of overcome it quickly because I think this new sense of clarity that you'll have. Um, and being able to maybe reemerge in your world of friends will actually help you deal with some upset or disappointment that you have and really help you kind of have a very, like a minor victory there. So I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective for you for the month of April for a more clear picture of the month. Be sure to check out your readings for sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.